In this video, I will show you how you can create table of content on your blog post, which will look something like this. So let's begin. The one thing that you will find common in almost all the top blogs that are online today, that they all are using table of content. Now, if you are using WordPress for your blog, then this thing is very easy. Let me show you how. So we have a WordPress setup. We have the two blog posts here. The plugin that we are going to use in this tutorial is called Cadence Blog. So I'm using Cadence Themes already, which is, I think, the best free theme available on WordPress. And Cadence Blocks plugin will add some great functionalities to your WordPress website. If you're using Cadence theme, then it's good. Otherwise, the plugin works very well with any Glutenberg theme. So I have already installed this plugin. So let me show you how it works. So we have a blog post here and we have a blog post title. And if we scroll down, we have some heading one with some paragraph. Again, we have some heading two, three, four, and some more headings here. So let's go ahead and add table of content on this page. So we go to edit post and above my first heading, I'll type in forward slash and the add on we will be using is table of contents, which is coming from cadence block plugin. So we click on that and boom, all the headings are listed here as table of content. Right now we have six headings here. So it's showing all the six headings in the table of content. And we have a lot of options. So if we want, we have the bullet points for the listing. If we want, we can have the number one, two, three, but, but we already have numbers before our heading. So we don't need that or you can have none. So I'll prefer the bullet ones. And if in case you do any update in your heading, the table of content will be updated by, by itself. So if you're going to change any text here, so as you can see, it's updating the table of content text as well. So you don't have to worry about updating your content or doing some changes in the headings. Now let's go ahead and check few settings available here. So if you click on this table of content, you can go ahead and divide it into sections or maybe in three sections. If you have a long blog post, so this might be helpful in that case. And on the right hand side, we have an option to customize which headings should be included in table of content. If we switch off the H2, you can see that all the H2 tags are gone because all of my, these headings are using H2 tags. So all of them are gone. So let's switch it back and let's see how it works. If we have more than one H tags, like in this post, we have a h2 tag here and h3 tag here so let's edit this post and try to add table of content on this post once again we enter here and call the table of content block and now we have the table of content with the headings here and below that we have some subheadings so that also got included here in the table of content by itself so if you want, you can go ahead and switch off H3 tags. So this will work like our earlier post. It will only show the main title post. And as we turn it on, you can see that all the headings and subheadings are included here. If we switch off H2, it will only show the H2 tags in table of content. So that's how flexible it is. And if you want, you can go ahead and do some styling here. So if you want, you can switch off the title or maybe you can edit the content of the title. So as per your need, you can customize that as well. Now we have an option to choose the title color and here we can update the font size and line height. And below that we have an option to title border. So if we try that, and if we go ahead and give it a border pixel so this is how the it will work but i prefer it without borders so i'll reset that below that we have an option for collapsible settings so if we enable that you can see that now we have an arrow like an accordion so we can close this table of content block and below that we can start as collab so that they won't occupy much of space and by default they will be in a collapsed way 
So that looks good. And here you can update the icon if in case you want to replace something apart from this arrow up and down. And below that we have settings for our list. And there are a lot of options that we can play around with. And below that we have the container settings. If we want, we can go ahead and give some background color to our table of content here, which looks nice. And if you want, you can go ahead and play around with the padding. Below that we have option for border as well. And we can also give border radius. So now it looks pretty nice. And let's go ahead and preview it in the front end. And as you can see that it started with a closed table of content. And if you want to see the content here, we need to click on this arrow. So now the table of content text is accessible here. So if you click on any title here, it goes down to the heading which we have linked in the table of content. Now if you go back up, if you click on the last subheading, it goes all the way down to the last subheading in the content. And once again, we can go ahead and play around with settings here. If you go ahead and click on update. Alright, so if you go ahead and collapse that, we can see that our table of content is now in two column. So this is a quick tutorial to show you how easy it is to get table of content on your blog post using a simple plugin from Cadence. So if you like this tutorial, then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials like this. And I'll see you in the next one.